Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and a wonderful new feature called Autofill. Now you've heard me talk about other new features in QImage Ultimate before and I usually am pretty enthusiastic but this one is over the moon. Wait till I show you how this works. Okay, let's get started. Right now we're looking at typical thumbnails just out of the camera so to speak and nothing's been done with them other than the normal decoding by QImage Ultimate. When it sees r your raw pictures it decodes them and makes them pretty nice. Okay, well let's take a look at a couple of them here just so we know what pretty nice looks like. Okay, we'll give a space bar here. Yeah, it's okay. It's nothing extraordinary. That's a little on the dark side. Here's a homemade castle shot a little on the dark side most raw shots are generally a little on the dark side but uh, we just want to take a sampling here so you get the idea what it feels like okay like that let's move down a little further get one like this for example okay there's a gentleman sitting on the bench and uh, he's kind of in the shadows and we'll move down a little more I'm showing you this flower in particular because I'll come back to it later. This flower is just about perfect, but you can tell by the file name color that it has been worked on. Okay, but I just want to point that out to you for a moment. Okay, and we'll take a look at a couple others here for a moment. Well, here's a rose. Looks pretty good, and it wasn't worked on. And here's another one, pretty good, wasn't worked on. And here's another one, this little statue you've seen before, and that wasn't worked on. Okay, now I'm going to take a moment and show you what the autofill does. Okay, to turn on and off the autofill, you simply go to your edit menu, drop it down to raw options, and you come up with this box, which is your raw options box, and you put a check mark into autofill. If you want to turn it off, you can take out the check mark. We're going to put the check mark in and say OK. This is just telling you that in order to see the autofill, you have to rebuild the thumbs. Okay, we'll say okay, fine. That's telling me that it's deleting the old thumbs and it's building new thumbs. Okay, let's wait a second. Okay, I think we built the thumbs. And as you can see easily, the thumbnails are quite a bit different, quite a bit better. Let's have a look at one of these things just for the heck of it. You can see how much brighter it's got. Here's the one that had the boat in the moat before. It's got fill applied to it. Here's another one. Okay, you can see they're pretty darn accurate too. Here's one right here that absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for better. And we'll slide down quickly. Here's our gentleman sitting on the bench who was in deep shadow before. And that's the automatic fill making him just about perfect and same thing goes with this gentleman here sitting just as comfortable as can be different kinds of images is what I'm showing you okay different kinds with guy in the shadow stuff in the highlights here's one where this statue was in the bright sunshine perfectly done here's the one I called to your attention before because it was done manually before <clears throat> and the point is that autofill didn't touch it. Okay, it ignored it because it already had something done to it. And autofill can detect this. And if it detects that something was already done to it, it leaves it alone because it assumes that's what you wanted to do. Okay, let's go down a little further. Now here's these images. I marked them with the green thing here so I could easily find them. Here's three images which I showed you earlier were pretty much on the money with or without autofill. Okay, there's our rose, here's our other rose, here's our statue, and that's with autofill. 
and without autofill. How do we know? Well, let's right click, say refine, and everything is zeroed out. No autofill was applied because QImage recognized it really didn't need any help. Okay? And the same thing goes. Let's try this guy. Same thing. I won't show you every picture in the on the screen, but you can see all zeroed out, nothing touched because QImage said this one's perfect. It doesn't need any help. And I don't know if you remember this guy, but we're going to show you. Okay? This is a statue. And this statue is pretty well done right now, okay? But Autofill decided it needed an 8 to make it look right. Now, if you want to see what it looked like before Autofill, just drag this down to a 0. And that's the way it came out of the camera, okay? You want to put it back, just right click, and it goes back to the Autofill number, which was 8. Now, I want to call your attention to something technical over here. 8 has now become the default autofill or default fill for this particular image. Therefore, there's no red bars. And when you save it, okay, like that, it won't change the file name because that 8 is equivalent to what a 0 was before autofill. It's a default. So it's going to appear as though nothing's done because nothing was intentionally done but you're going to get your 8 in here. Now should you move this at all you get the red bars indicating that you manually change something. Okay? Then when you save it it's going to have a blue file name as it used to. Okay? You got the idea. If you want to... Oh by the way that moving it takes off the autofill. It overrides. So if you want to put back the overfill uh, the fill just autofill I should say just right click and it turns itself back on again another nice feature is should you find that you want to select a grid like that okay autofill adjusts to the change that the if you change the exposure autofill changes the amount of fill in accordance with the exposure that's pretty neat watch watch it go back to an 8 when I remove the exposure See, it goes back to an 8. Now, that, that's pretty sophisticated. Okay, so let's review. If you don't want to use autofill, you don't have to. All you have to do is right-click on the image, just like you used to. Say, Refine. Up comes your Refine box. You can move your bars, your s slide bars. The moment you move it, autofill is shut off. Set it any way you like. Pick any one of these grids if you like, like that. If I pick a grid up here, let's say for example, okay, autofill did not change. Okay, let's try another one because it's not turned on any longer. We moved the fill bar and that turned it off. Okay, as you can see, I'm changing the exposure on this image and autofill stayed where I dragged it to a 10. Okay, like that. I'll take off the exposure. You can see the exposure went darker and the 10 remained. Should I want to go back to autofill? Right click. There's autofill. Back, turn back on again. So that seems pretty simple. Okay? Alright, let's refresh some more stuff. We have a little trick utility feature built into the autofill which is very, very handy. Okay? Let's take one that's got uh, oh something. Well, let's we'll have to put something in here. Okay, let's say we have uh, refine raw exposure. Okay, and this this autofill was absolutely perfect on here. And let's say for the sake of discussion, I messed around with it and I clicked on exposure and it got a little bright and I saved it because I thought it was good. And I saved the darn thing like that. And there I am. And, oh, my goodness. Got to wait a second. It's rebuilding its cache file. Just take a couple of seconds. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm going to say, my goodness, I made it too light. Nah. Well, here's what we can do. Right click. Remove raw refinements. What that's going to do is very simply put it back to the way it came out of the camera. Simple as that. 
okay now with autofill turned on because autofill is on we turned it on using edit preferences raw format options and we turned it on right here simple as that I for one would leave it on because I can always override it just using the sliders the way I used to use it okay so everything is really really nice and comfortable and easy to use and very 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 accurate and just for fun you can always do this you say hmm I wonder what autofill did to this exactly okay well just highlight it right click say refine okay and you look at this and you see that autofill gave it a 14 but what was it without autofill simply put this back to zero okay put this back to zero and that's the way it came out of the camera without any fill light at all okay notice again the red bars which is saying I did something to this picture intentionally and that's the way I want it so autofill don't override shut yourself off for this image so autofill shuts off for this image you say save the changes notice that the file name turned blue indicating that you have selected and applied a change to the image using the refine tools okay and that's it you did it you don't like this very simple right click you can say remove raw refinements that's one way to do it or you could sim simply say refine raw image bring up the box and right click bingo there it is there's your auto refine turned back on again auto fill is turned back on okay I think we're getting pretty close to the end I'm just emphasizing various points and I think you're you're getting the hang of it already it takes a little bit of uh, trial and error just to see what's going on because every image is different and QImage is smart enough to look at each image and say individually you get this and this image gets that and the third image needs so much and so much it's not the old-fashioned way where a certain preset value is applied to all the images that you put in there. So many programs do that. They say, well, we're going to uh, change the color temperature of all, all the pictures. We're going to change the brightness and the contrast. And we're going to add this. We're going to add that. And now bring in the pictures, and this is what they're going to look like. QImage doesn't do that. It evaluates each image as it looks at it decides with a very very complex algorithm how much fill light should be applied to each picture individually that's the beautiful part of the whole thing okay I thank you very much for listening and we'll catch you next time